Uh, this is gonna be incredibly jank. What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and today we're gonna be redoing my home network. Well, my apartment network, except for we have one big constraint, and that's that I have to fit all of the stuff for my network in this storage cube. It's gonna be a challenge, but let's get into it. Now for a while I've been using this Ingenious ECS 1008P which I did a review on uh, somewhere here or here I don't even remember but button and I really like this switch great little small compact switch PoE great switch except for I couldn't get VLANs working on it now I configured this guy at 3 a.m. so I was brain farting and realized exactly what I did wrong but um yeah I was tagging and untagging VLAN 1 on my trunk ports which yeah, you don't do that. Stupid mistake, brain farting at 3 a.m., but I have this guy configured properly now, except for the fact that I ran out of ports. So I need to step up to something a little bigger. Now I have this Netgear switch, which I pulled from some deployment. I don't even remember which job this thing came from, but I pulled this guy from deployment because it has two dead ports. This port is just straight up dead, and this port likes to think that there's something plugged into it at a 10-100 link speed, when in reality there's nothing plugged into it. So I've disabled both of these ports in the configuration, and I have it all set up in terms of the VLANs and how I need it to be configured. Okay, so my little network area here, I've already powered down most of the gear, but we have my router, my little uh, Ace PC router that I built a while back. We have my DMX node here, my Artnet node. This guy's powering up some of the lights around my room. I have one light up there and a few lights around my room that are controlled over DMX through Home Assistant. But I also need easy accessibility to this because I take it with me and use it for events pretty often. So we have my two DMX lines. I also have my AT&T gateway. I have a PoE injector in this rack area cube thing. And that PoE injector powers up the ONT, which is out in the living room using one of TP-Link's PoE extractors. Um, I also have my little Synology down here. I put in two outlets here just so I didn't have a power strip dangling out in my closet. So two outlets. It's just terminated to regular Edison here. I, um, I just cut open an IEC cable and used that for the wiring. I also have this... Oh, dang it, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> I have a little light switch thing here. I basically took a in-wall light switch that's smart and attached it to a plug because I, I just needed another smart switch. And so this has to go in there somewhere. I have a ton of like power cubes, things like this. So yeah, all of this needs a home. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna put the switch right in here. So we have the switch, a uh, gateway, then I'm thinking Synology, and then router somewhere. I think I'll set the router on top of the Synology still. And then over here, I'll have the Mac Mini. Um, I have two monitors mounted in my closet here. The only reason these two monitors are mounted in my closet is because I don't have stands for either of these Dell displays. And I also don't have a good way to store this monitor arm. So the best way to store it all was actually just to use it. Otherwise I'd have to lean the panels up against the wall just so that way they don't get scratched or damaged. So I figured, hey, why not use them? And it gets them up and out of my way. All right, now I have the cables kind of cleaned up. Just a couple Velcro ties holding things in place. Also, now that I have the outdoor access point, that's the cable that goes out there. Um, <laughs> this wall plate was already here. Well, not this one, it was a blank wall plate. And so when I opened it up, I found what looked like a chunk of dirt in the wall. So I pulled off the wall plate, pulled out that wall dirt and turned it over and it was a wasp's nest and I freaked out. The wasps were all dead. This had to have been done a number of years ago, but there was already a hole going outside. Now that hole was just big enough for a cable, which was perfect. So I put a wall plate on there for ethernet, and then I put an outdoor wall biscuit outside, and then I have an outdoor cable going to the Mesh Pro access point. All right, 
All of that is now wrong. Uh, I ended up pulling the trigger and getting a USW 48 Pro PoE switch. And this thing has just been awesome. I'm gonna tie up all these cables here picked up this switch. Uh, this is going to solve all of my problems. I have my 10 gig. I need to find a way to get this line to go over there. Um, I have this other line that runs around my room and brings it back. These transceiver modules can do 10 gig over 80 meters. The Intel X540 T2 that's in the server downstairs though cannot do 10 gig over 80 meters. So if I were to put an SFP card in there and then use one of these modules, well then it would work just fine, but nah, it's ridiculous. So I gotta run this cable under my carpet or find some other method to handle it because I'm not gonna deal with a cable running across my floor. Um, cleared up some space in here. I need to pull this all out, redo it again, but I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all that. Um, I've got plenty of ports here so I can have a bank of them that are security camera ports, a bank that are... I was able to pull the USW Flex Mini out from behind there. I'm just gonna be... Plus, this makes it a lot easier for me when I'm tinkering around and trying new things out. You see, right now I have five different switches, each from different vendors. So that's five web GUIs, five usernames, five passwords, so five times I have to set up each VLAN or reconfigure something anytime I wanna make a change. So keeping everything under one umbrella is gonna be really nice. I have the USW48 Pro PoE in there, coming around to my desk down here. The USW48 Pro PoE feeds 10 gig into the Flex XG 10 gig RJ45 switch right here, which then gets PoE from and also delivers networking to the USW16 PoE over here. Cable 10 gig from the USW48 PoE, and then we have um, gigabit going out here, which then comes over and into the TP-Link switch under my couch. Which breaks up all the signals, sends them all where they need to go. I have two ports configured on there as security camera ports. Everything else is a trunk port because everything else I'm doing, I have some form of Unify switch at every other end point. So keeps things pretty simple. It feeds a USW flex out here. And then in the laundry room, I have an in-wall access point that I made a freestanding access point with this 3D printed box that I designed. It feeds a security camera as well as the internet line that goes down to the garage.